have you ever thought of yourself as a victim of something? Now, let's be clear. Some people have lived or are living at the moment with terrible, terrible situations. And yes, of course they are victims and that's adults and children. So we need to be clear about that. But what I want to explore with you today is this victimhood that we sometimes carry through from um, not getting our needs, needs met when we were children. So let's unpick this. So it's really normal to feel sorry for ourselves. There can be times during our day when, you know, I mean, recently I, I bought a lovely glass and um, two days later, <laughs> I moved my arm to do something and my lovely glass, particularly shiny and iridescent, smashed all over the floor, gone like that. So, you know, I allowed myself a moment to feel a bit sad and a bit sorry for myself. And then it was gone out of my head, cleaned it up, got rid of it. That's it. I didn't go down a big kind of victim rabbit hood, rabbit hood, rabbit hole then of, oh, oh, whenever I get nice things, I, they always, they never last. I always break them and, oh, it's not fair and poor me. And, you know, I don't know, go on and on about it. That, when that kind of stuff is happening in your life, be curious. It may very well be that you've just gotten stuck in that kind of um, victimhood mentality, way of thinking, way of perceiving life. So it can also happen for us as parents. Um, our child does something, um, shouts at us, tells us we're an idiot, um, cranes all over something, ruins something, I don't know, there are just so many things. And instead of us being able to feel, ooh, okay, just need to take a moment about this and allow ourselves to feel exactly how we feel, do not have to spew it all over our children, but we can feel it definitely, <sighs> calm ourselves down and then see what's up for our child and see what help do they need, what's going on for them, what emotions are they struggling with, and, you know, maybe later on we, we, we have a conversation about, you know, so not, not too keen on <laughs> being called or whatever, or I was wondering what was going on there, and we know we can't do that again, we know that, da 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 da, da because actually those are the bits they do know. But if we are stuck in a, in a, in a victim, poor me mentality, we will take that stuff so personally. Well, why did they do that to me? They know how much I love that such and such. Um, oh, don't they know how hard this is for me? Look how difficult this has made my day. That's being in a victim mentality. Our first, once we've calmed ourselves down, um, you know, we should be able to move pretty easily and it should always be our aim to move into a state of compassion of kindness and connection with our children i wonder what they need i wonder what they're struggling with how can i help them that should be what we're aiming for now when we find that hard to do and we maybe get this rage inside of us or we completely shut down and we withdraw from them and we kind of punish them by either sulking or just saying, you know, get away from me, I'm, I'm very upset by what you've done or whatever. That's us going into victim mode. So it's, it's not something to be mean to ourselves about. I used to be, honestly, I was like Olympic standard at being a victim. Um, maybe not so much with my son, I don't, I don't remember, maybe I choose not to remember, but definitely in the rest of my life, I was wounded by everything, everyone, um, you know, but would just try and hide it and be extra nice whilst wading through my own internal victim sewage, I guess you'd call it. And yeah, you know, if you look at some of the things I've lived through in my life, I have been a victim of some pretty horrendous things. But it doesn't it doesn't interest or serve me to to live in that space now like why would you want to live in sewage when you can live in a a beautiful field full of 
wild flowers. <laughs> I know which one I choose. And of course it didn't, it didn't happen um, overnight that I realised I was a victim. In fact, um, I always remember years ago, a manager of mine in supervision saying to me, looking me square in the face and saying, but you know what the problem is, Jane, is that you always put yourself in the, in the position of being the victim. And it felt like a smack around the face at the time. And I was, I was pretty upset. I was pretty upset, pretty angry. But once I calmed down, <laughs> you know, you know the truth when you, when you come across it and I couldn't deny it. So that was my first step. That step number one is self-awareness, whether somebody brings it to you and you don't like it or you eventually uncover it yourself. Having the awareness that actually maybe I do have this victim mentality, that when something goes wrong, I, I collapse inside and I feel really, really sorry for myself. And, but it doesn't, it doesn't end in the moment. It goes on for like the whole day and I might tell people or I might not tell people, but I might act in a kind of victim way of being very wounded about everything. Um, so just don't be mean to yourself, but, but be curious, be curious. Do I do this? Do I do this? Um, then step two to moving way beyond all of this to the beautiful field of lovely wild flowers um, is that you have to you have to want to not be like it. Because to be honest, I, I just was used to living my life that way. You know, I developed it as a child because uh, I wasn't getting my emotional needs met and seen. And, and I, I don't know, I guess this is what children do. They adapt to that from which they cannot escape. Um, and maybe it served me sometimes because that's why children, they wiggle and jiggle around and accidentally come across things. Um, but it got to a point where I, I was so <laughs> sick of being a victim that I had a strong desire to seek out change and to create it. And that's taken me a long time because I, I came across various different things that, you know, helped a bit, but they didn't help as much as I needed. Um, and then finally, I came across the technique that I use now in all my coaching. Um, it's called QEC, Quantum Energy Coaching. And that's when the real hard work began for me. And um, yeah, if you want to be free and not be a victim, then you're gonna to have to work. You're gonna to have to invest some time, you're gonna to have to invest some money, and you're gonna sometimes have to be in some slightly emotionally uncomfortable places. But you know what? <laughs> if there's ever anything to put your time, your energy, and your emotions into, I recommend it a million percent. Whether you do it with me, or you find somebody else, do not stay trapped in this poor me, I'm a victim kind of state and way of being because it's it's really miserable is my recollection. It's miserable, lonely and stressful. And now, honestly, it doesn't exist in me anymore. So if I smash something I love or somebody is, maybe they're mean to me, I'm not really sure, that's maybe just how I receive it. I can't wait, you know, I might dip my toe in the sewage and I am straight out and into the, the field of beautiful wildflowers. So think about that. Just be in this state of curiosity. I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if this is something I do. And if, if you've got to the point where you think, hmm, I do not wish to live the rest of my life this way, then get in touch with me and let's just have a chat and maybe I can just help you identify whether it is or isn't a thing in your life and then you can decide is this the time when I really want to do the work I want to invest the time the money and the emotions in moving beyond this once and for all and if you're a parent you really want to think deeply about it because your children are always watching you and learning from you how to be an adult, how to respond. So, you know, we can accidentally be treating our children either be a victim or be the one in charge so that you are not made to feel like the victim. So you can see this is really, really important work. So take some time and then if you'd love to have a chat, then just drop me an email or e-snail or e, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, it's jane at thejaneevans.com and let's just have a chat.